Welcome, everybody. I am here to uh, have a special interview with one of my favorite people and the inventor of the harmonic egg, Gail Lynn. My name is Harmony Pavette. I am the owner and co-founder of Harmonic Egg Naperville in Naperville, Illinois. Welcome, Gail, and thank you so much for being here to share your wisdom with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. I know people um, want to hear from me, but it always seems so funny. I'm like, it's just me. I know, but you are the egg mama and <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful to hear about you because you have the most experience with the harmonic egg and, you know, you had the cosmic download and, um, you know, hearing from you is, is something that is just these treasured moments. So, um, thank you so much. And I know a lot of my clients at harmonic egg Naperville are really excited to hear what you have to say. They had questions. They were like, can you ask her this? Can you ask her this? So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll, try, I'll try my best today to um, answer, to have you answer all those questions for everybody out there. So I'd like to start off by asking you, um, what are the common ailments you see people facing today and how can the harmonic egg help them? Absolutely. Um, and you know, you always have access to me. I'm not one of those CEOs that just disappear. You know, you can always ask me the questions if your clients have have questions that I can answer for them. I would love to do that. So that's thank you. I will say that. So um, the common ailments are just there's such a plethora. We make up diseases in the medical system. So you have something and someone says, I'm going to call that the X, Y, Z virus or I'm going to call that you know, based on my last name, I'm going to, you know, name this virus. So what I've kind of narrowed things down to is that there's a root cause why people get sick. It can be stress. It can be inflammation. It can be fatty liver. It can be an immune system problem or heavy metals. So basically stress is the number one killer. And that's really what the harmonic egg excels at is reducing stress resetting the body, rebalancing the nervous system. I was reading an article recently from a doctor, Kevin, he says, drkevinmd.com, I believe his, his uh, website. And he said, we have an epidemic of anger right now. And what I was kind of relating that to is I see a lot of fatty livers right now. You can also say it's from the keto diets because it's just a lot of fat, but you're seeing people with a lot of anger, which is where we store the, uh, the liver is where we store the emotion of anger. So I really do feel like it could be an epidemic of anger. There's just so many people who are angry right now with everything that's going on in the world. So I really try to narrow it down to those five reasons why people get disease, but the number one is stress. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely would agree with you. I have seen so many miracles of people coming in just at their, their limit of stress and having even one session and seeing a dramatic improvement. And the more they, they do their sessions, um, I just see, it's like, I see it unwinding inside of them and it's, it's miraculous. It is. It's beautiful. I, I love to see people in a calmer state. Um, I love to see people lighter and you see their face change when they come yes. out. It just seems like they're lifted out of that stress. And, you know, even if it's just, and because I don't like to get too woo woo, because even if it's just an hour and I know it's not a, quite an hour, but almost an hour of being with yourself, being with your higher self, being with God and just really anchoring in um that peace that calm and then you get that 10 minutes of silence is where the magic happens and it is so beautiful to spend that time in silence your phone's not ringing the radio's not on and and the the doorbell's not ringing and the computer and this and that your your kids your spouses your partners it's just that time with you where you can reset and rebalance to me, it is a, an amazing gift you could give to yourself. 
Absolutely. And thank you so much for bringing this technology. I am so grateful. You know, I've, I'm into my third year now with the harmonic egg and the more I see people heal and transform through their sessions uh, with the harmonic egg, the more I become passionate about, you know, subtle energy and the harmonic egg and what it can all do for us. And so that would segue into the question is, how would you describe the benefits to, of the harmonic egg to someone who doesn't know anything about subtle energy? That's a great question, but I think it takes away your story. So I want to say that if you have been abused, if you've been raped, if you've been with an, um, an alcoholic father or mother or spouse, or if you've been molested, you know, and these are things that have happened to me. Uh, if you've gone through divorce, you're not a divorcee. You're not somebody who's been molested. You're not somebody who's a victim. It really takes that story away because then you're not walking around broadcasting that victim energy. It is, it was such an amazing gift to, for me. Yes, I am the creator of it, but it came through to save my life as well as all the other lives that I've seen changed and saved. I can now walk around and yes, I was molested by the priest of the parish, but it's not my story anymore. Don't feel bad for me. I don't walk around with that on my shoulder or in my hips or anywhere. It's gone. So it can take away the story. So you can be the best human being you can be on the planet and have the best life you can have because all that trauma is taken away. Those stories are taken away. And it is a beautiful expression. And then you attract a different vibration. I think that's the biggest gift that the harmonic egg gives to people. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And I, I have, first of all, I've seen for myself on how going into the harmonic egg has helped me raise my vibration to manifest my dreams. I mean, when I first discovered the harmonic egg, um, I remember that I was like, okay, I wanted to have a book contract and a music contract and um, all these different things. Like I did a whole vision board based on Vastu. And within, as soon as we said yes to the egg and the egg was on its way, my whole vision board manifested like literally a week after or two weeks after the harmonic egg was set in place. And um, it's just been a blessing. And I've seen it with clients. I've seen, I have a client that's manifest. She raised her vibration, manifested to buy a home. She got, a, she fell into a relationship. Um, she manifested all this, this beautiful creation. And that's just one example. There are so many more examples. I believe yeah. that it is a manifesting machine. It is an intention uh, receiver. There's some kind of an energy about it. But when we say we raise our vibration, we get out of that place of anger, hate, jealousy, yes. shame, guilt, and all those things bring us down. They're heavy. That's where disease lives. And we raise our vibrations to gratitude, love, joy, happiness, at that point, you open yourself up to receive everything that's yours by divine right that's been sitting on the shelf and collecting dust. It just it just rushes into you. And that's why during you know the COVID period, we had you record some beautiful pieces of music. One is the Gayatri Mantra. And when I really look into it, it's about gratitude and love. And it almost felt like it was killing COVID because fear was feeding it at such a low vibration. So when we discuss vibration, we want to say, you know, that low vibration, Dr. Um, David Hawkins work, power versus force. He talks about, you know, the Christ vibration versus the hate vibration. And it's so low. It's so heavy. It's so disease attracting. Yeah, I definitely see that when I put a client in, I always make sure that their energy is, I can, I'll can i trace it uh, if they're in that lower vibration of comparison or jealousy or hatred or anger. You know, it's like, what, you know, it's like, I want to put people in the egg feeling the space of what are you grateful for now? 
And that subtle energy, I guess, is working, right? With the sacred geometry and the lights and the sounds and the vibrations. And um, I had a woman just last week, um, it was her first time in, and she had expressed that she has pretty much never experienced joy in her life. And I was, I was like, okay, so like, I'm going to put her in with gratitude. Just thank you for helping my body to relax and reset and, and feel um, the release of stress example. And when I opened the door, she said, wow, this is amazing. And she felt joy for the first time in her life. And she signed up, she signed up to a, a 12 month commitment to work with myself and the harmonic egg. And it's just, it's such a blessing. And I guess this would then kind of move into our next question is, you know, in your experience, Gail, um, what can you, what can a client expect from like a long-term commitment doing harmonic egg sessions? Well, that is a beautiful story that you just told. And I mean, how rewarding is it for you to be changing people's lives? And that's what, that's what I kind of miss from, I don't run my own um, center anymore but I get to work through all of you now, 130 centers, and I get to work and support all of your clients with you. And that's a tall, tall task as well. Uh, when you have something going on in your body, it is the normal for your body. Your body thinks it's normal. So if you have Parkinson's, that's normal. And so what we need to do is reset the nervous system and create a new normal. If you've ever taken karate classes and there's other sports that you can take that they talk about muscle memory. So it takes 10,000 repetitions to make it muscle memory. Now you don't need to do 10,000 harmonic egg sessions, but if you think about it, when someone throws a punch at you to put your arm up and block it, it's not automatic. It's a repetitive time. You have to do it over and over and over and over. And then all of a sudden someone throws a punch at you and you're like, whoa, holy crap. I just did that all by myself without even thinking about it. So what we want to do is we want to reset your nervous system and retrain your nervous system to remember that normal of when you were perfect. When you just came out of the womb and everything was perfect, your body was perfect. You were perfect. You're perfect now but you're on this human journey to become the, you know, a new human. There's this whole movement around the new human experience. And so what we want to do is we want to create that muscle memory of your body remembering what it was like when it was perfect. And so, you know, usually it takes at least three sessions to reset the nervous system to start to say, oh, oh, that's not normal. This is, <laughs> oh, we need to go in this direction and creating that new normal. Depending on how long you've had something, we live in a quick fix world right now where people want immediate, uh, an immediate fix. You have high blood pressure, take a pill. What that's doing is it's, it's masking the symptoms. It's not getting to the root cause. Is there an emotional reason behind it? Is it just dehydration? So what we want to do is we want to help people reset to a new normal. Six sessions is amazing to really get the nervous system to say, ah, we mm -hmm. know where we're going now. And then it can kind of catch up with creating a new normal. But there's, you know, a 10 session protocol for someone with a chronic illness is, is a good start. Yeah, I, I work a lot with memberships at my center and um, you know, I, I've seen, of course, different levels of people coming in with different types of traumas. Um, as you said, three sessions, I can see the nervous system unwinding, but some people they've had so much trauma and they're holding on to so much pain, uh, in their bodies. Um, sometimes it takes me like 10 sessions just to unwind the autonomic nervous system or rebalance that autonomic nervous system to even start touching into the emotional charges that are standing behind the dis-ease of, of what is causing the problem, the root cause of the problem. Um, I've, I've been working with people since the day one um, on, on continual annual memberships. Um, and this also, for me, looking at this memberships, it, it gives me the, um, 
you know, the clarification saying like, you're committed in this pro this process, therefore I'm really committed for you. And, you know, I think that co the combination is just such a wonderful place to be uh, for that, the harmonic egg to really take in and we can work on Epstein bar, we can work on Lyme, we can work on inflammation, we can work on chronic pain or fatigue or uh, insomnia, or, you know, it's, it's, it's a process, but also I'm realizing, I recognize also, um, you know, it's taken us many years to acquire some of these things that we have in our body. So it's not like you can wave a magic wand and it's gone. I mean, sometimes it does happen. There's a miracle, but it's, you know, the unwinding, right? And the harmonic egg is just so brilliant at, at taking people and helping them to unravel. Yeah, to peel back the layers of the onion, and I will admit that I still am peeling back layers of my onion. Um, I've got 52 years of trauma. And think about somebody who doesn't know what they don't know. You know, they, the saying, you don't know what you don't know. And all of a sudden, they start they start doing sessions and, and things start coming up. And they realize how messed up some of their emotions are some of their reactions to uh their triggers and triggers are treasures but somebody says something to them like i told you when maybe they heard i told you because their mother was pointing her finger in their face i told you but yet maybe the person was just saying hey well i told you yesterday blah 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 they didn't mean anything by it but when you get those triggers those are treasures that's something for you to look at and say when was the last time I felt this emotion when someone just very innocently said, I told you. And so it's really interesting when those, uh, those triggers come up because I still get them too. And I said, oh my gosh, the last time I felt this was when my mom was pointing her finger in my face going, I told you. And yet it was innocent from somebody sending an email. I told you, and you can get triggered by that. And so it's really good to say, this made me feel this way. And it would be better if you said, when we were speaking last, you know, until you can get over that, that trigger. So you mm. get this, you get to a point, a point where you're coming into self-realization. And what a beautiful thing is that. I love it. I absolutely love it. Definitely. And I believe that this place of self-realization is where we will finally experience this place of, of love and compassion and peace on the earth, right? We flip the polarity, right? It's the Malcolm Gladwell theory, that 51 percentile. And all it takes is that one extra percent over that 50 percent marker of people that are having awakened consciousness to actually tilt the energy level on the planet itself. And um, wow, what a blessing that will be. Absolutely. I And I, I just call it, I've been calling it the illumination. That word came up for me a few days ago that there's an illumination that happens. There's that self-realization and we need to learn to be kinder, gentler to each other. Yes. And have more love, less fear. Mm. Definitely, definitely. And then uh, a while ago, Gail, I heard you mention on, it was actually on social media and I took your quote because it was so brilliant. Um, I heard you mention that each time a person does a harmonic egg session, the DNA changes. Could you speak about that? Yes, and there isn't a test that I can prove this, but I will tell you that I have experienced probably I experienced at my center over 15,000 people. And then through all the 130 centers now, I probably have experienced 50 or 60,000 people. I watch people change on a cellular level. I watch people change and things leave their body that I believe, if you believe in past lives, there's things that can come over in a past life. It can also be a trauma. It can also be genetic. So if you want to, see it in a different way. I'm going to refer to it as a past life. If you have things that came over from a past life, it's in your DNA. Your DNA doesn't know that uh, maybe it was a drowning. So I'll give the example of, I used to have a reoccurring dream that I drowned. 
and every dream was the same. I fell underneath the ice and I couldn't find my way back up and I would drown over and over and over and over again. After doing sound and light therapy and researching what possibly happened that released my asthma from my body. I mean, literally from four years old to 16 years old, I had allergy shots every week, every other week because I had severe asthma. I was reading a book called Soul Speak by Dolores Cannon's daughter, Julia Cannon, and got the realization that that drowning, the DNA didn't understand that that drowning in a previous lifetime. So it just said, well, let's just give her asthma this lifetime. We don't know what that was. And so when the asthma released, the dream never happened again. So all I can say is that the DNA changed, the asthma went away, the trauma went away, the genetics, whatever it was, went away. But what made the most sense to me and seeing the thousands and thousands of clients with the shifts in their illness and then the story that came with that shift, it felt like that the DNA wasn't sure what to do with that information. And it's just kind of threw a disease or an illness at it. Mm. And I always tell people, you're never the same. Once you have been in the harmonic A, you're never the same. You might fluctuate. Maybe the first session you go up here. And then after that integrates, you're here, but you're never Mm. back to where you started. And then you take a third session and you're up here. And then that integrates and you're here. And then the next session you integrate and it's here. So I really believe, and there's no way to really test it, that it really does work with the D at a DNA level. The additional thing to that is that I've read a lot of research on how nature sounds help to heal six to 800 layers of the DNA. And so every one of our pieces of music, as you know, because you've created, created some has nature sounds in it. And we're not talking Mm -hmm. about synthesized you know, white noise wave sounds, we're talking about the actual recording of the Pacific Ocean, the actual recording of birds or dolphins or whales or wolves howling or eagles chirping or the wise gray owl. We use the actual nature sounds in their purest form in a web file. It is divine to listen to crickets. So I can go on but it's just divine to listen to inside the harmonic egg. Yeah, I agree with you. And in the pieces of depth of mind and peace and peace protection and freedom, the pieces that are recorded for the harmonic egg, um, I collected some sounds from Glacier National Park. And then my producer had some from uh, where his studio is. And we just collected all these beautiful nature sounds and it, it is something like I have children that go into the harmonic egg. And as soon as they hear the nature sounds, they feel p- at peace. They feel at home. They feel safe and comfortable. And it's, it's just, uh, it is nature is such a gift and we, uh, you know, doing our job to, to preserve it in every which way, raising our vibration, helping nature. Right. And well, I also, we also know- say, I just wanted to say also the depth of mind, um, that's also great for epigenetics. It's a great place for clearing the epigenetics as far as like when we talk about the DNA changing. And um, I've noticed a tremendous experience uh, using that piece as well with, when we're working uh, with the past lives and the ancestral and all that as well. And I can't say, you know, what happens in the next lifetime because I don't know. Nobody really knows but we have so many deja vus and we have so many clients that have come out and said, Oh my gosh, I remember being a man and they're a woman in this lifetime. And I remember blah, 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 or blah, blah, blah. There's so many stories that have um, been spoken after sessions that it's hard for me to deny the fact that they're experiencing something from another realm or something from somewhere. Yeah, And we also know that water sounds are really good for PTSD or PTS, mm-hmm. as some people say. So that's mm-hmm. why a lot of the pieces have water sounds in them. And I've heard story after story after story from veterans 
And I mean, I was telling somebody yesterday, if you don't have PTSD on the planet Earth, then you're probably not on planet Earth. Everybody <laughs> has some form of PTSD right now, right? Uh, yeah, I would say so with the pandemic and everything else yeah, that's occurred. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But, it's but so veterans have told me that they feel like after a session, the monkey's not on their back anymore. Oh, and I had a veteran beautiful. that yeah, I had a veteran that came in one time and he said, um, whenever he was in a session, he felt um he said his finger was kind of pulsating. I said, Is that like a trigger finger? He said, Yeah. So he was a sniper. And he said, whenever he got angry, he just wanted to kill people. And here I am at the center by myself with him. And I'm like, <laughs> but he said, after the session, he goes, I really I feel really good. And I don't want to kill people when I get angry. I'm like, bonus, cool. <laughs> but he ended up, you know, getting a job and, you know, really being an essential part of his community after about six sessions, which was so beautiful. What a gift that the harmonic gag was able to give back to him. Yeah, that's wonderful. So something like, you know, just that peace, peaceful, like his sanctuary, right? Just so gentle. I end up playing that for a lot of people that come in with a lot of trauma and it's just, they're so wound up. And they, whenever I open the door, there's many times I open the door and people are like, go away. <laughs> leave me in here come back so, well I don't think well, people people don't understand that some of these pieces are so gentle and they're like well nothing happened you know just listening to water flute and birds isn't a bad thing because the nervous system when it's so stuck in fight or flight can be very triggered and activated when you have piano and drums and flute and water and, you know, clarinet and bugle and it's just too much. Yeah, mm, definitely. So let me ask you, Gail, why do you think this technology or why do you feel this technology is important now? Oh, you yeah, asked some tough questions. Um, <laughs> I think that it's time for us to know that it's all connected, that we are all connected. And this technology is a conscious technology. This technology is a self um, organizing technology. And I really do believe that it's helping people to find um, their path closer to God, closer to source, closer to their higher self whatever word you use, which is going to br bring a kinder, gentler person. So the more people we can get listening to the music, that be beautiful music that you've recorded, even if they listen to it at home and listen to it with their families, going in the egg and putting that energy, that vibration out there, I think is really going to help people to manifest their best life create more love, more gratitude, get them out of fear and really help support each other. We are all in this together. It is all connected. And we really need to find a place where we can love and support each other in a more cohesive way. And I do believe that the egg is helping people to raise their vibration to that place of love and gratitude Whenever I do a session, it's very, it's very fun. I go out into the world. People are smiling at me. People want to talk to me. Um, I, you know, go to a burrito place and the guy's like, it's on me today. They just, <laughs> there's some energy that you have after a session. And as you do more sessions, that energy is with you all the time that people just want to love you. I'm sure you've noticed it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So that's really what I think it is. It's about putting out more love, more gratitude, more joy. I mean, imagine what your life could be like if you could spend it in joy and love and gratitude. The sky's the limit. Wow. So much abundance, so much um, prosperity. And I, it's like when people can really truly step into this place of living the highest version of themselves on all levels, it, it's, it's, 
the world and their world will be a completely different reality. And I know from my own direct experience, um, you know, through my transformation over time, it's just, it's a really beautiful place to live in. And the harmonic egg is so amazing, amazing at helping people step into their power of realizing, you know, who they are and ex accepting who they are and stop being so hard on themselves. Um, this is this is really, I mean, this technology, I, I had a client of mine just recently, um, I played at the Milwaukee uh, Kirtan and Yoga Festival and I did the gong sound bath meditation. And I invited the harmonic egg community and some, some of the people came and one of the women that she came we've been working together now for uh, approximately a year. And she said to me after she goes harmony, she goes, I didn't realize how much I had changed until I came to this festival. And I realized, and I was so proud of myself for the work that I've done. She goes, I still see that there's work to do, but I'm so proud of who I'm becoming. And it's, oh, it just makes my heart sing, you know, to, to know that every time I open that door, someone's life has changed. And I'm it's, sure it's, that people just love you. I adore you. I think you're amazing. And I, I'm sure it's the same experience you have with your clients. People leave and they're like, I love you. And you just met them. <laughs> you're just like, I love you too. You know, it was so weird <laughs> for me. Yeah. Right. Because growing up, my mom, you know, never really did they weren't really emotional. It's not like you got hugs and love and, you know, tucked in at night. It's, you know, it, it wasn't like that in my house. So when I first started doing this business and it is a business, an energy business, um, and people would come in and say, oh my gosh, you changed my life. I love you so much. It was weird. And I realized that that energy is just there after an egg session. There's so much bliss and your heart is so open and the heart chakra is open and, and just your the people are just beaming. And yeah, there's some people that come out and they're angry, of course, because Absolutely. they don't know what they experience. They don't know what just happened to them. And they're a little bit scared mm -hmm. and sometimes fear the root of anger is fear. So why are they angry? There's some fear there. People come out and they never felt their heart open. They never felt in balance. And it's a little bit weird. And they yeah. don't know why they're feeling that. Right. It's like you get used to having chronic pain in your body, right? And then when your body actually doesn't have the chronic pain anymore, you're like, you know, this just feels weird. But um, it's actually the real... Um, version. It's the highest version of who you, you're becoming. And it's wonderful. So Gail, let me ask you, besides humans, what else can the harmonic egg treat? Oh gosh. Okay. So pets, uh, wild animals, um, trees, plants, uh, house clearing, land clearing. Um, we have protocols. You have the protocols for people to say, oh my gosh, my, my land, all my trees are dying. So you can actually contact Harmony and say, can I have a land clearing for my land? I live on a property that's all sand. It's like the high desert of Colorado. And my neighbors have all reported that they lose 20 to 80% of their trees when they come here and plant their trees. So of course I heard that. So I took a picture of my trees and put every single one of them in the egg when I moved here and I didn't lose not one tree. <laughs> explain that um my horse she had a cyst on her chest after she um had a trauma there I went away and I thought I had some people that were taking care of her when I came back she had um flies had gotten a little bite out of her and then it just created this huge scar um and this or the scab this open sore or, and it took me so long to get it to heal because you can't really put a Band-Aid on her. And so um, the next year in that same lo location, she ended up with a cyst, some kind of a you know lump. And after one session in the harmonic egg, and of course it's a picture, 
Um, the lump went away the next day and the skin was just saggy. By the third day, the skin had reabsorbed itself and it was completely gone. Nothing, you couldn't feel anything in there. Animals and children only know love. So they can heal much more quickly than the adult with all the baggage. So, you know, just putting that love and energy into that. So, and she was, she loves her sessions. We had her at a barn with 75 other horses. And I was told she was the calmest one there because I was constantly rebooting her nervous system and horses are fight or flight animals. So if you have a horse that is really skittish and scared, some sessions, I have definitely seen huge improvements. And then recently I got to work on a dolphin. So a bit of a wild animal. And that was a beautiful story. And I could talk for hours and I know probably boring people by now, but the dolphin was such a beautiful client. (laughs) And what she expressed to me was that nobody gets to, um, she doesn't get to receive ever. She's always giving. She's a therapy dolphin. And so she's always giving, 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 giving. And because she was born in captivity, no one taught her how to release what she was picking up from the people she was working on with so much love. And so she picked up something and was holding on to it. So Mm -hmm. she was so grateful to receive work on her and she's stabilized now, which is just a beautiful story. Um, I've done three sessions on her and she was (laughs) hilarious. She's like, sprinkle my picture with rose petals. And I'm an engineer from Detroit. So I'm thinking I'm losing my mind, (laughs) but I heard this. So I did. And, you know, every session she had a different message for me. It was very beautiful. So trees, uh, pets, um, a lot of times our pets take on the energy from us. So I would say, I'm going to venture to say 90% of the diseases of your pets, they've probably taken away from you because they love you so much you need to give them permission to clear that and not hold on to that for you. Um, So a lot of those sessions, the animals are able to release what they're holding on for you. And it's also good for you to do a session to release what they're holding on for, for, for you. Mm. Yeah. I I have a beautiful cat. I'm just so in love with this cat. And um, I do tend to do, I try to do weekly remote sessions for my cat. So um, my cat is, he went through a phase where he was really angry and upset because he fell and he hurt himself and the harmonic egg was just so instrumental in his healing. And now he meets people at the door, he licks them. He's, you know, he's just, he's a different cat today. So I definitely think that the harmonic egg has been very helpful for my special little furry friend. I do treat a lot of animals, um, and it's, it's really special dogs and cats, especially. Um, but how about businesses? Could, could the harmonic egg also clear businesses? Well, I don't see why not. If there's an energy that's looming over a business and it's very heavy, um, shamans come in and do uh, business clearings, house clearings. I would say absolutely. Um, Sometimes it's just shifting your own intention and your own energy. So maybe if your business is suffering, you need to look at who's running the business, who's in the business and what energy is there, and maybe send the people from your business to do sessions to clear their baggage so that Mm. the energy of the business can flourish again. So absolutely. Ah, that gives me an idea. Maybe I'll create like a business membership. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about that when I was saying it, I was like, If you have a small business, you know, and you create a membership um, for the business, so X amount of dollars a month, and then the employees can all come in and do monthly sessions. It's a bit of a health uh, health plan. I think it's a great idea. I mean, uh, I'm definitely going to suggest it to some of my clients. So yeah, thank you. So how many eggs currently are there in the United States? I believe there's about 130. So I've been told, uh, my team has told me 130 on 10, in 10 countries and four continents. It's, wow. It's so which other enough. countries are they, are they in? So they're Thailand, right? Thailand, Thailand Australia, New Zealand, um, Denmark, England, Ecuador, Peru, 
uh, gosh, you know, I'm just going through Belgium, Switzerland, uh, where else? I mean, there's so many. This is it's so crazy. I can't even believe how this has taken off. Um, who would have thought that people would be lined up to purchase a large wooden egg? <laughs> That's amazing. I, you know, and, and Australia keeps popping up in my head. So I think Australia is coming on board. <laughs> well, we ended up, uh, we have one in New Zealand and then there's some people in New Zealand who, uh, flew over here to get training at our manufacturer so that they could make them there. It's very expensive to ship this life-size you know egg which is what 11 foot by 11 foot by seven foot and so they're going to start manufacturing them there and i think it's going to take off like uh, wildfires that's amazing it's so cool i have so many friends in australia new zealand and europe and i guess globally um so um i just had a friend of mine she reached out on social media and the the owner from is it berkshire no uh england is it uh not berkshire it's Chester, it's, it's Chester, Chester, Chester. Um, so I connected them. So hopefully they're going to get together soon and she'll have a session. That's so awesome. it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, that's the business model. You know, we're all family. We're all these egg guardians. And uh, just yesterday um, I'm working with a company and the employees are very unhappy. You can feel it. it it's palpable and their services has gone downhill. And so I looked up the the income of the CEO. And there's this article that says um, in Business Week, CEO doubles his salary to 10.2 million. And I'm like, seriously, this is the, these are the business models that need to go away. We have mm -hmm. to have abundance for everybody. There shouldn't mm -hmm. be, you know, the Uber rich and then the homeless. And there shouldn't mm -hmm. be people who are working and not able to pay their bills. It's so yeah. not fair. It's part of the reason we have so much stress. And now my boyfriend was telling me that uh, the Teamsters president is now going to go kind of talk to Amazon and say, we really need these corporations to not be making millions and billions of dollars when there's people who can't feed their family that are working in the corporation. And mm -hmm. that's what the corporation that I wanted to create is I don't want to be the rich person at the top. I want to have all of my family of egg guardians in abundance. And so I, what I do on a daily basis is try to do some PR, do some interviews so that you guys are getting clients in the door so that you're abundance, but you're also affecting people's lives. So it's yeah. like, we need to have that corporation where it's not so top heavy. And I really think that's where mm -hmm. the future is headed in more of the matriarchal versus the patriarchal business model of cooperation instead of the competition and the cutthroats, you know, um, energy. Yeah. I, I do love that about you. You're such a great role model and you've been so, I mean, since day one have been so supportive for, I know my community and myself, um, you're always there to answer questions and the gray you know. <laughs> hairs, the bags under the eyes. Yes, I am. I am. I am a little bit of an overachiever and I want to be there to support each and every one of you every day. I can't because there's too many of you now. So now we have our <laughs> Facebook page where we can support each other. So that's yeah. what you're so beautiful when you go online and say, Hey, I can offer this advice to you because I, I did this. So you don't have to call Gail because now I can help you. And then somebody helps you and then you help somebody and they help somebody. And so it, it's such a beautiful community that we've created. Yeah. It's the, the community all the way around. Like when we came to the symposium just recently in Colorado, uh, meeting other center owners, it would just felt like family, you know, it was so wonderful and how everybody is so passionate and they love their harmonic eggs so much and what they're doing for their all the communities around the world uh, I just think we are so blessed to have the harmonic egg as part of you know this technology that's helping to raise a vibration on this planet and help so many people yeah, I'm so grateful for you, Gail. Thank you. And I'm so grateful that you took the time out today to answer these wonderful questions and um, share your, your divine wisdom. 
and you know keep on sister with the matriarchal mindset i love it and you know may we all live by this example so thank you for tuning in and joining thank you so much for everybody coming on and and being part of this this night this day this this moment in history and time with us and may there be many many more and um so Gail, um, just before we get off, I just wanted to share with the community, how can people find the nearest location to where they live? Well, one of the things that I do is I try to get search engine optimization to get, we get visitors to our website. So everybody gets a, a listing on the website. So harmonicegg.com, go to locations, you'll find Harmony and you'll find every other location that's out there that is supporting clients with the highest integrity, love, uh, community, supporting their community and reliability. Those are our brand attributes. So they're all on the website, harmonicegg.com. Yeah, and if anybody's interested to purchase a harmonic egg or an ellipse or a, a lift, how they would do the same? We have the three uh, harmonic egg products now, which is the flagship product, the harmonic egg. And then you can call it kind of harmonic egg 2.0 is our ellipse model changed the door design, did a couple of things that the marketplace was asking for. And then we have the lift for the home use because during COVID people were afraid to come out. So I created a home unit for people to be able to get a lift whenever they were down, get a <laughs> lift at home. So yes, there, awesome. there's, it's all out there on the website. Yeah, it was a real pleasure coming out to Colorado and experiencing the ellipse and the lift as well. I thought it was just such a wonderful um addition to the harmonic egg community and i can't wait to expand so i can get one in my center <laughs> well i think you're doing an amazing job you've expanded from one egg to two eggs you have yeah. more members than i ever had at my center you are brilliant you are so rocking it in your music if people don't come in and buy your music they're crazy you know and so they can find, you know, the music downloads, the music on the website. Um, I've written a book. It kind of tells the story of how I got to to the harmonic egg through a lot of uh, a lot of stress, a lot of trauma, a lot of health problems. Um, but isn't that how we all get to where we're going? Is we have this yeah. journey, and it's not easy because if it was easy, then everybody would do it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, people are so blessed to be able to come into your center and meet you <laughs> and experience your music and experience you as a beautiful soul. So I'm so blessed and I'm in so much gratitude for you as well. You have really supported our community with your brilliance on how you've grown and built your business. Aww, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, may this be an inspiration to all of us. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. And I hope to see you at Harmonic Egg Daperville or at maybe at another Harmonic Egg Center around the world. So if you haven't yet tried it, please get out there. Try it. At least get into the Harmonic Egg and experience it for yourself. So wishing you all the best of like, love, and happiness around the world. And uh, many blessings to you. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.